Observation of Fire Good observation of strike is determined largely by conditions of light and the range to the target. However, when observing, it is better to search an area around the target than to look directly at the target itself. Some factors to be considered when observing fire are as follows. Tracer It is possible to observe tracer up to 800 meters and beyond in normal circumstances. The four tracer rounds in each 20-round burst should be carefully observed at their point of strike. If the ground around the target area affords good observation of a strike, check to observe any difference between tracer strike and ball strike. Beyond 800 meters, tracer strike cannot be observed and the gun controller must watch the strike of the burst around the target area. To do this, it may be necessary to order a burst longer than 20 rounds. The possibility of confusing tracer burnout in flight with tracer strike on the ground should be remembered. Ground Sand, dry plowed earth, chalk subsoil, and any powdery surface generally give a good indication of strike. However, long grass, rocky surfaces, and undergrowth give a poor indication of strike. If any area of ground close to the target is especially suitable for observation, it is sometimes quicker and more economical to direct fire into this area in the first instance and then adjust once strike is observed. Climatic conditions. Light, mist, and mirage may affect visibility. At long ranges, a strong wind tends to blow away dust caused by strike before it can be observed. Enemy reaction. The cessation of enemy fire may indicate that your fire is effective. Traversing targets. It is not always possible to observe the strike of every burst when engaging a traversing target. Beaten zone. In battle, other guns may be engaging the same target, which makes it difficult for a gun controller to identify the strike of his own gun. When the strike is observed, it must be determined whether it is the whole or only a portion of the beaten zone. If it is just a portion of the beaten zone being observed, then what part of it? For example, if the strike is observed in front of the target, it may be the near end of the beaten zone falling on the target. Conversely, it could also be the far end of the beaten zone just falling short of the target. 